Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing Imeon's second album, Momentary Sixth Sense. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is simply my opinion on the album and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Aimeon is a Japanese singer that I discovered very recently thanks to the song used in the Japanese TV show Weakest Beast. And ever since I've been very intrigued by her music and this second album called Momentary Sixth Sense arrived just in time for me to share with you what I think of it. So Aimeon is pretty new on the Japanese pop rock music scene and she had a quite successful debut album back in 2017 and ever since then she has been having many successful songs in Japan, including the one called Let the Night from the Japanese TV show Wiku's Beast. And I won't lie to you, hearing this song for 10 episodes really got me hooked on it. And Aimeon has a type of voice that is very recognizable and definitely one that is very appealing to me as well. But what about the album? I found it to be a very decent and enjoyable pop rock album. There's definitely a lot of energy and charisma on her part, and I found every song from this album really enjoyable. And it's no surprise that Aimeon's music is doing so well because it blends successfully many things together and her pop rock identity works on so many levels because this album really creates a blend of pop music and also rock music that feels very modern nowadays but also feeling very familiar and sometimes a little bit old school. And each song feels warm and just enough to get you hooked right away. Some highlights on this album for me are the songs Marigold, Present, Let the Night and Because I'm in Love. FYI, uh, these are the official English titles of the album. I don't know why they didn't keep the Japanese ones, but at least I'm not butchering Japanese titles for once. And especially the ballad Because I'm In Love I really like because it just proves that being very simple ballad in its structure, like this one can do wonders with the right person and Aimeon really delivers so well on this one, it's one of my favorite ones. I think my only complaint about this album is that it does feel a bit repetitive at times and it does feel also a bit too safe because even if I enjoy it quite a lot, don't get me wrong on that, I can't deny that everything feels like it's using the same recipe over and over with just enough little changes to make the song a little bit different. But I still found the album to be quite energetic, it's just that I listened to it a couple of times by now and yeah, I can't quite pinpoint my favorite songs just yet outside of the ballad because I'm in love because everything feels a little bit too like the same thing. Overall, I would say that this album is a really enjoyable one and the only downside I found to it was that it plays a little bit too safe at times, but I still had a great time listening to it and on majority of songs they're all really enjoyable. And that is why I give this album 3 stars and a half. Thank you for watching, don't forget to tell me what you think of the album down below and I'll see you next time.